I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. Bonjour, bitches. Yes. Ooh. Hi, I'm Musa Kawula and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture, right? Ways back and then you know what? We're going to talk as per usual, baby. You know what? One of the many people I want to start talking about is Amanda Dupont and her divorce finally being finalized, right? You're going to remember that... Uh, Amanda Dupont had gotten like uh, engaged in the Mauritius and he had been so beautiful with a nice Frenchman, I think, or whatever the fuck that man is. But it had been beautiful. We had been so happy for her and whatnot. But then in my head, I always wondered, you know what, and always thought, did she ever get married, you know, was she in the marriage, you know? Because Bates had always been out in the streets, partying. Immediately as they, when they came out from the, came back from the engagement rather, she had been like hoeing herself and whatever with the Riley Mampuele or whatever that fucking man is, you know? It had just been so sad to watch because she's in the streets and you know, me and my friends and everybody, we wondered like, when do you have time for your husband, you know? But then she decided to you know what, okay, she doesn't wanna be in this marriage, but I think it's the white men that filed for divorce, especially after the whole Jub Jub situation and that other fucking funky podcast and whatever. And then we also revealed that she was cheating on her husband with this Riley or whatever the fuck. But then the man's like, you know what? I'm gonna go get me like a white bitch or something. But then in my head, I'm like, okay, baby, now where you gonna get your coin? You know, you know, she booked that last job at the, what's that Betty show? What's the name of that show? That Soapy on SABC One, Half Past Six, I think it plays. She had booked that job. She had been so good. You know, her acting is just, it's not as boring as Boities and Minis, Cosin Gamers, and all of them bitches. I'm a Kamata. I'm like, bitches, what are you all doing? But you know what? She tried. She gave us like something good, and then she left the job, and then she had like a small role, I think, at the lockdown or something. That's the last job she had booked. But then I'm like, baby, where are you gonna make your money? Cause now you know what, that this rich white man, hold on, is gonna leave and hold the fuck up. This man is gonna leave, like what the fuck are you gonna do? But then I also remember hearing and reporting, you know that Riley is married, right? To some other vendor bitch or whatever. Fine. But I also remember hearing that uh, Amanda Dupont was pressuring Riley to leave his wife for her. The nerve of she, you know that Riley is married to that vendor bitch, and I think they have like two children or something like that. And then Amanda Dupont came in. Meanwhile, she was married, bitch. She like, you know what? You need to leave your wife for me. And Riley was like, no, bitch. I ain't no. You just a side piece and whatever with a failed marriage. So I'm not leaving something good, my wife and my kids for your whole ass, you know? But anyway, now she's back in the streets and I'm like, you know what? Baby, welcome back to the streets. Well, the streets didn't miss you because you've always been in the streets. You know who's trying to make their own way back to the streets is that mini the mini and whatever of that failed divorce. I have to say that I really didn't think that, I really didn't think that, uh, Minnie was gonna get divorced to that nice grown man because that man, you know what, he looked older and was sort of was like, you know what, I was rooting for them till, you know what, shit happened because apparently Minnie Lamini went and hurt herself with the CEO of uh, Multi Choice, that black shot man or whatever. And then probably the man found out and was like, you know what, fuck your bitch, you've always been for the streets. And then she was kicked back to the streets. Now she's struggling, trying to make her way back. And why not? It's really so sad. I suppose life is like really not the same after you got divorced, especially after you have like, you know, a short lived marriage like Amanda Dupont. I think she was only married for like two seconds and then that shit. You know what? I'm thirsty. Hold on. But anyway, Amanda is back in the streets. Good luck, baby. You know, I don't get played by Casper your vest and we're not, Casper your vest is fat, by the way. You know, I don't get played by these people. Welcome back to the streets. We don't give a shit about Amanda Dupont and her drama and her nonsense, right? We're just gonna move on and talk about 
my good friend, Nakana Baby. Hey, y'all remember that when Nakana, you know, we went to the music video and the interloper music video, right? We was paid 700 grand. I remember after we were crawling on the floor for 10 hours and then that bitch made us take off our clothes. That was real bad. But you know what? A bitch needed some coin. The way I was crawling for... <laughs> <laughs> the way I was crawling for 700 rand, baby, you should have seen me like throwing my hands like this. Then they were making us do all these funky things and whatnot. And then they made us take off our clothes and whatever, only for them to show our hands. But anyway, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that his new album is out or their new album is out rather. It's called Let Go or letting go, some shit like that. I know I'm gonna be listening to the album. Oh wait, uh, I remember, uh, who's this bitch, Moonchild, right? I was recently watching uh, his, a series on Netflix, Dev Devil and the Sun, or some shit like that. And then I heard her song come on, the name of the song is called Devil. I actually didn't hate the song when, you know what, when I heard it on the series, I was like, oh, actually, actually, she doesn't make bad music, you know what? Anyway, speaking of Nakane, they also had, uh, I remember, on the last season of You, I think it's episode four or something like that, they had uh, their song come on. I think it was Interloper, the song that they made us crawl for. Actually, Nakane is making money out of it. Meanwhile, we was naked for no reason, baby. That was wrong. That was super wrong. Anyway, we're just going to move on and, you know, I'd go download this bitch music, Nakane, making music for white people or whatever the fuck. I'm just a thirsty bitch. That's all I care about. Anyway, moving on to Gefilo Mapote and her drama. Oh my God. You know what? Uh, recently she came online, revealed that apparently she's getting married or she got her lobola and whatever. Of which I have to say that I don't buy that. That shit is not it. And I'll explain. Give me a chance. I'll explain. Get close. Let me tell you. So, okay, you know what? Out of the blue, you know that Gefilo has like them two children and whatsoever. Then she had that one car, the two door car, where she couldn't fit all her children in <laughs> and whatnot. And then now, uh, apparently then she had that French man or whatever that, that bought her a Porsche or something like that and whatever. So anyway, now she reveals that, uh, she takes to social media to reveal that, you know what, bitch, I'm getting married. There she is brushing the cars in the crown, doing, doing, right? Anyway, so now I'm a bitch that would always wanna find out more. I'm like, you know what? Call, you know, some people. I'm like, you know what? You'll better tell me some shit. Is this shit like for real? And you won't believe what the friends are saying. Apparently, the friends have no idea of this man. They have no idea that uh, Gefilwe is getting married. She got lobola because the friends were never invited. But if you think about it, I want you to really take a second and think about it. As fleshy as uh, Gefilwe is in the life that she's living, the people have friends that would have been invited, I would assume, Abu Sarah Langa, Abu Mamkize recently, and we're not. Obviously, I think that we're gonna be invited for the celebration, right? And we we're gonna see on their social media that, okay, a thing like that was happening. But it was only on her social media, of which uh, when I spoke to the friends, I'm like, hey, you people, what's going on, you know? And then they're like, oh no, the first thing I heard was, well, the first thing that they told me was, you no, know, they're thinking, you no, know, this is promo, you know, like brand collaboration and whatnot, but because they're not even aware of a thing like that. So that shit is just promo. It is what it is. We're going to move on. We're not going to waste time on this fucking bitch and her chasing cloud and whatever and her many children and shit. But you, you know who's back in the streets is our friend Faith and Katie. You've seen her in December. She was gigging back to hosting and whatnot, only because things, you know why, things are not really good within that marriage. And I'll tell you why. You know what had happened? Hold on. Yeah. You know what had happened was, you know, okay, she got in, you know, that traditional situation, whatever, and then that was fine. A bitch is sweaty. It's so bad. Anyway, she has that traditional nonsense, whatever. And soon after that, we find out that the man was scamming white people and all of that shit. 
and but not so then then obviously they're not gonna have as much money because this was illegal money so now she has a child to feed and a husband that cannot make money because you're gonna remember that uh Nzuzo Njilo's dad apparently you know what he cut them off because you know what they have that mortuary or whatsoever in Peter Marisbeck. Apparently, the dead cut them off and whatnot. And then uh, Nzuzo's dead um, gave the shares of the mortuary to his staff, not to them fucking Nzuzo's and that other brother that's married to that other bitch, right? So anyway, so now Nzuzo's not able to make money because he's being blackballed, I would, I would assume, by the white people that he sells copper to and whatnot. So now Faith decided, you know what? I have a child and a husband to feed. I need to go back to the streets and go shake my booty a little bit, of which are my friends, you know, you know, them people that, that are club hosting and whatever. They also, actually they spoke, okay, we were speaking and whatever out of concern. They're like, you know what? Apparently, you know, obviously with the hosting, there's a whole lot of things that happen behind doors that nobody speaks about, especially these club host girls that they will never tell you about. But you know, I'm a friend, then I'm gonna tell you about it. So anyway, you know what? A bitch will probably get booked for a job, let's say at Booth, for example, or whatever club is you will. So you know what, then you're supposed to bring these big ballers into the club and then you know what, they need to spend, they need to throw money and whatnot. But apparently it also turns out that these big ballers, obviously for them to come through, it's a give and take thing to you because if they're going to come to you you know what at the end of the day sometimes you're going to have to have sex with these guys and whatnot and the concern came that you know what now that faith is married and you know what these girls know the shit that they do so now what is faith going to do what is the husband going to do because apparently or well, obviously because now if faith is back in the street it's going to she's going to be back to fucking you know what her old stock and all them all niggas they need to come to the club and ball and then at the time where will nzuzo be because it's not really a clean job this club hosting thing. So Faith Baby and Zuzo. Mm -hmm. Anyway, bitch was back in the streets hosting, taking gigs and whatsoever. And I'm sure she's like miserable. And Zuzo just has no choice but to shut his mouth and wait for Faith to bring a check to the table. Meanwhile, he babysits like pretty ugly or something because clearly if he's not working, he has to babysit meanwhile. Faith goes and shake her BBL in the streets and marawara. Shame, pretty ugly. And this fucked up, they might as well be friends, you know. They can take their children into a park to play. Meanwhile, the mothers are dancing at the club. Bunta is dancing on TikTok for free and whatever with that Guinness World Record that nobody cares about. You know what's that Guinness World Record? It's a uh, the longest set or lo longest dance choreography of Ama Piano. <laughs> what nonsense is that? But she has that record. Nobody gives a shit about it anyway. But yeah, so now good luck to Faith Gancy and Zuzo. But I'm seeing this relationship going, this marriage going down. But you know what? Faith's going to be back in the streets. The men absolutely adore her. Queen twerk. <laughs> Queen twerk and whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. You and I are going to, you know, talk next time. I've got things to do. Bye, bitch.